feels kind of stuck here. This might be this campground. The cops won't bother me. Guys, I am working on my Yamaha C3 and in order to pull out this tire, you really just have to undo this bolt, but you have to drop the the exhaust. And it's fairly easy to drop the exhaust. There's a bolt right here in the fender, and then there's a bolt right here and a bolt right there. And then you have to get underneath and remove the two bolts holding the header and the exhaust will drop like this and that's enough that we can just reach into here and unbolt it but first the thing that you need to do that just seems to happen in all scooters is tighten up the rear brake and use this little thing that way it's not going to go anywhere and then you can push the the, uh, the rear brake in order for the uh, the rear tire not to slide out. This one's actually kind of on very loose. There we go. And here's the tire. So as you can see, it's a really light tire. It's a 120 90 10 and there's still some thread but these are the wear markers so when the tire is this the you know, worn it's good to change the tire this is pretty much done there's like these humps that is the cupping of the tire after it's being worn so it's very important to remove it and just get a new tire and this is a chin chin tire these are very cheap but they don't last very long there are some better tire levers you can get but for scooter changing it's like some of the easiest things you could do. Here is the tire that just came for the C3. I have never installed stems on tires before. I never had any problems with them breaking, but on the Yamaha C3, it did break. This is what the stems look like. And it's about $4 from Amazon. And hopefully it's gonna be a very easy, easy fit. So I lubricated this with some soap. I did find the old stem and you can see the little rubber bits just broke off. So no big deal but hopefully it's, it looks to be about the same. Usually a dot here and an arrow align the stem once you put it in there. Up there. Fit this side. Make sure that the rotation is good on the tire. Align the stem with a mark. Bring it to this side. There's a lot of space here. You're gonna hear two pops when you're filling it up. That's the beads, kind of the bead that gets setting into the rim. Make sure you don't have your finger anywhere on the sides here, because it will get caught, it'll be painful. And you should hear a pop. Two pops. Now, usually on the side of the tire, it says the pressure that you should put your your tire rat so I usually put it at the max it says 25 pounds psi so this is the spline and the uh, the brake and of course like I told you guys you have to remove the exhaust to get full access onto here there's a, a little bit of plastic that you have to do it on an incline here and just kind of it does not want to go in there we go Oh, that's that. All right, guys, the tire is on the bike. You need the washer, and then you have the nut on here. To put the exhaust, we're going to need these two nuts, and then there's a washer that holds the header into the exhaust. Make sure you don't forget this stuff. So right here, there's this part of the exhaust, and... There's this little bit that you don't want to lose. There. 
you have these two bolts and a washer or a spacer and this is going to hold the bracket of the exhaust so the spacer goes in the bottom one and it has to fit in the back and then you just put the the bolt through i hold up the exhaust just a little bit and then get the spacer in the back get the bolt and i just want to thread it lightly with my fingers i haven't um, tightened any of the bolts in the scooter yet hand tighten only and then we're going to go over it with a wrench and tighten that and now let's go back to the exhaust it's a little bit difficult to see where the exhaust is but it's this pipe right here and now i can start tightening it using a wrench now what we have to do is get this tightened and it's just two bolts up here this one and this one the only thing that we have to do now is undo the the rear brake Yep, she sounds pretty good. The exhaust looks like it's set uh, set well. And this bike is ready to go. And this bike is ready for some riding. The tire is good. You can still see the marks. I think what I'm going to do now is change the oil on it. That was changing the rear tire on a Yamaha C3. I hope you enjoy it. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.